Yo, 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 y'all know what it is, your man's trap is for, man, I'm out here with Fuchsia's TV, nigga, on the east side of South Central, man, y'all know what the fuck going on, and where they scared to go, man, a lot of niggas don't come here, man, you feel me, you know, shout out to my nigga Fuchsia's, man. Yes. Hey, well, I just passed the Roscoe's with P&B Rock, that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, that's, like, this shit, like, really, like, close to where you at, so. Yeah. And do, do you be going out there, though? Or uh, nah, we don't really go there, bro. That's one thing why we don't really go there, bro. We don't, that, that Roscoe's right there, it's not really a Roscoe's to go to, bro. That's like in the borderline of my hood, yeah. nigga, the ASAM gangsters, nigga. Shit, so I don't even go there. That type of places like that, you, you want to pull up with a bitch. Or you want to order your shit before, you feel me? Then pull up with a bitch, you feel me? Like, you don't just, that type of, I wouldn't pull up with no girl. Like, hey, man, let's go chill at Roscoe's shit right there, man. That's South Central LA, man, the east side. Man, right on the borderline of A7 gangsters in my hood, you feel me? A, A4 mainsters. You feel me? Like, come on, like, man, nobody goes right there. Shootouts every day, man. War, it just goes down right there. I don't know if he didn't know that or whatever goes down. Yeah. Shit, man, they should have been tapped in with the right niggas. Yeah, I went in there to use the bathroom, but it was literally, like, one person in there. Nobody don't go here. That's what I was saying. I was surprised to even see him there. If he was in there, I bet you at that time when it happened, it probably was about four people in there. Yeah. And, and whoever went in there, they know that. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. yeah. So, and then he has jewelry on too, bro. Yeah. Why you think, cause I've been seeing a lot of LA shit going on, bro. Like, it's like y'all be, y'all big on hitting licks or robbing somebody, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Why you think that is? It's just how some niggas is, man. It's just how some niggas is, you know? Hit licks and robberies, they niggas been doing that shit out here for years before me. You feel me? So, you know, shit. And it's more of a showboat. You got niggas thirsty. Like they said, you can't put a hot dog in front of a nigga three pair of bugs because somebody gonna have a it's gonna go down. You feel me? So it was more of where you pulling up with some hungry motherfuckers, nigga, and you and, and with, with, a, with a big ass plate. You feel me? They gonna come eat you. You feel me? And he had no jury too. Yeah, he had jury on. What he pulled up in? Uh, the Maybach Benz, I believe. The white Maybach Benz with the red seas, right? Yeah, it's an ugly part. Yeah, bro. And I was just up there, like I said, and it, um, there was a woman at the convenience store. She was basically saying that, you know, the Santino used to come in there. He was just a wild dude. He used to steal a lot out the store. Yeah. She said the father was cool and shit. Did you know Did you know them? No, I never. I, ne I don't know them personally or nothing like that. I just know, like, of that area, which is A7 Gangsters and shit. And so I don't know if he a part of that or they a part of that shit, though. But they had to be from around there. Yeah. That's how I feel. That's my opinion. Shit, they had to be around there more than once. Because that's just like you pulling up right now. You going to Roscoe's like, oh, I see PNB. Let's rob it. Nigga not about to do that. Nigga don't, nigga don't move like that. It had to be somebody, you know, he had to be comfortable already. Yeah, he did that shit in broad daylight, so it's like... Comfortable. <laughs> you feel me? Comfortable. He was you comfortable. You said most of the shit go down out here being in broad daylight? Yeah, man, shit. It'd be nighttime, daytime, man, get the right time, shit the wrong time. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. So, you know, a lot of shit go down, man. It ain't no, like, back in the old days, they used to wait. You feel me? Back in the old days, they used to wait for shit to happen at nighttime. But nowadays, shit, that shit happen at daytime. Yeah. You feel me? That shit happen anytime, bro. This is South Central, the nigga that train. Yeah, no, I say he should have, what he, if I was him, I don't know if I would have did it personally because, I, you know, I don't know if I, you know, that's my area, kindish. You feel me? So, you know, I can go up in there if I wanted to or something like that. I wouldn't go up in there, you know, because the area, I might clash with a motherfucker, but a nigga can move around there. But if I was him, him being the superstar he was, because the nigga got hits, Kodak Black to all type of niggas. You feel me? Nigga got hits. He should have had a bodyguard. Yeah. He should have had a bodyguard. He should have had a bodyguard back to back to the table, like a lot of these stars I see out here from LA do. When they come into certain restaurants, they got a guard with them, with, which turn they back like this to the table and, and away from them eating, watching everything around them. Yeah, yeah, that's what he should have had, man. He was too booming, bro. He wasn't like no regular ass rapper or nothing like that. He has bangers, yeah. chart bangers, winners. Most definitely. And before that situation, I think a week before that, Sauce Walker. He, you know what I'm saying? He yeah. Was like, he was about to get robbed. Robbed. Killed and somebody. Yeah, he killed. Shoes. Oh, yeah, man. I shot the nigga. Yeah, man. And then to come to find out that even happened, in my opinion, is that 10. Let me say something about that shit. That trying to And shout out to Saz Walker. That's my nigga, man. You see, he follow me and all that shit. Yeah. But my opinion is that, bro, he should have just did. He shouldn't did that. Why I say that, man, he gave 
I feel like he gave people like he made some LA niggas mad, like you feel me, stirred up about the jury because you made it seem like you came down here, you killed one of us, you didn't kill none of the LA niggas, and you was on there like LA niggas, man, I done shot one of these niggas down here. Who taught y'all niggas that? Come to find out, you had nothing to do with this shit. You feel me? Nothing to do with shit. Didn't turn around, nigga. You feel me? Yeah. And then turn around, nigga, shit, you feel me? Look what happened the next day, a couple days of uh, the PMB. You yeah. feel me? Because, nigga, you didn't made it seem like, because if I was that type of nigga seeing that shit, you know what I would have said? I would have been like, look at the next rapper to come out here. We going to get him. You feel me? Yeah. That's what I would have been on. You feel me? And look what happened to the next rapper that came out here. Yeah. 